For more analysis on the situation in, in Libya, we go live with Stephen Lenman, a Chicago-based radio host of a political talk show. Good to have you with us. So there's violence raging elsewhere in the region, for example, in Bahrain and Yemen. Why is Libya getting all the attention? Well, Libya is getting attention because America supports the monarchy in Bahrain, supports uh, President Saleh in Yemen, but does not support Gaddafi. And it's very ironic because around 2003, uh, Gaddafi established rapprochement with Washington. Uh, relations were fine. He had meetings with U.S. officials, including Secretary of State Clinton, who uh, expressed very warm regards for Gaddafi, uh, basically deceiving him, because what's going on now was planned many months in advance. Uh, a military engagement like America undertakes uh, does not just happen. Uh, it isn't planned a week or two weeks in advance. This was planned months in advance. Uh, there are logistics, there are targets to pick out, there are troop deployments, and there's the massaging of public opinion in America, preparing the U.S. public for America again to, the, to, to go at war illegally. This is naked aggression against another country. But the American people have to be convinced that it's humanitarian in, in, in intervention. So the same you, idea. If I, could jump, if I could just jump in, you don't think that this is an organic outgrowth of the other uprisings that are going on in the Middle East region? You think this is something that the United States has planned for months? Absolutely. This has nothing to do with the other uprisings. The other uprisings are very legitimate. Egypt, Yemen, uh, the Bahrainians, Jordanians, Algerians. Uh, you hear very little about this in the U.S. media, but Libya is all over the media. It has been for weeks. Uh, Libya, Gaddafi is targeted for removal, so he's the bad guy. Uh, I'm not a pro-Gaddafi uh, supporter, but he's, he's the designated bad guy. There are lots of bad guys in the region, but, but, but the ones that are Washington favorites get no criticism in the U.S. media. Uh, there's virtually no reporting about them. So uh, uh, Salah in Yemen can murder civilians. I just killed dozens a day or so ago. Uh, the same thing going on in Bahrain. Saudi troops coming in, murdering civilians, occupying the country. It's barely noticed in the West. No outrage from Obama, no outrage from Hillary Clinton. But Gaddafi, who did not instigate the violence in Libya, he responded to it. He responded to U.S. special forces, CIA agents, British SAS forces going into Libya weeks, maybe months in advance, enlisting support, arming them, funding them, and, and, and setting them off violently against the Gaddafi forces. That is, that is called an insurrection. No responsible leader could not respond to an insurrection. If that happened in America, if it happened in Russia, the government in either country or both absolutely would respond forcefully as it should. Gaddafi did that. Now, the Arab League has, no, has now said that the campaign in Libya has gone beyond what they backed. Do you think the multinational forces review their operations, uh, taking, taking that into account? Well, I, I saw the Arab League statement. In fact, I, I see, I've got a Reuters report on my desktop that I had uh, just before we went on air. I honestly take that as a hollow statement because uh, the Arab League wholeheartedly endorsed quote-unquote humanitarian intervention against Libya, knowing full well there is nothing whatsoever planned or intended. There's no humanitarian intervention going on. This is naked aggression. They know it. What do they expect when America goes in any sort of interve intervention, what do they expect? Uh, n no attack, nothing whatsoever. They knew this was coming. They endorsed it, and now they're complaining about civilian casualties. And any sort of hostile intervention automatically brings with it civilian casualties. There have been at least dozens. Uh, I don't think they've discovered all the ones that have happened. Uh, three hospitals, by the two hospitals. All right, I think we've lost the link there. We've been hearing from Stephen Lemon, a Chicago-based radio host of a political talk show. Thank you.